Welcome back to my kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick easy snack with a little bit of crunch and heat. I know if you're like me on a ketogenic diet, the one thing that you miss is something with a crunch, especially with your snacks. And while pork rinds are great and you know a lot of people enjoy them, they do tend to get kind of old sometimes. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a cheese and jalapeno chip. Quick, easy, two ingredients. Let's make it. Now the two ingredients that we're gonna use today is pre-shredded cheddar cheese and a jar of diced jalapeno peppers. Now I know on keto we're supposed to avoid the shredded cheddar cheese because it's got the potato starch in it uh, to keep it from clumping together. But I did say that this was a quick and easy recipe. So we're gonna go with the pre-shredded. Now you can always use the block cheese and shred it yourself. That's up to you. I'm gonna go with the slightly quicker option. And uh, as far as the peppers go, you can always roast your own peppers, but I prefer just something quick and easy. They're also pickled in the vinegar, so it's gonna add that extra tang and flavor to it. So that's my choice. If you wanna go the slightly longer route, that's perfectly fine. Um, go ahead and do that and then just pick up the rest with the recipe right where we're at right now Okay, now the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a cold skillet I'm actually using a griddle so that way I have a little bit more room now Here's our ingredients. I also added some salt pink Himalayan and some pepper. Those are optional But you know, I'm gonna add them to the top just for a little extra seasoning so what you want to do is just take your cheddar and just place it in nice little mounds. Try to make them as even as possible. Now the reason that I'm putting it on a cold skillet is because that way you have time to get everything situated without burning yourself or having to worry about them cooking too fast and you not being able to be ready in time to move everything around. Then you're just gonna wanna add your seasoning, pinch of salt, and pepper on each of them. Then you're going to want to turn your griddle or your skillet on to a medium to medium high heat and just let that cook down for a few minutes. Okay, now as you can see, it's already starting to melt and start bubbling. So we're just going to get these edges nice and cleaned up so that way you don't have um, any of the really burnt edges. Just keep an eye on it because once it gets to this point, it will start cooking pretty fast. And if you see that it's browning too much on the edges before it gets um, a little bit more firm in the middle, then go ahead and turn down your heat. Now at this point, you just want to kind of move them around a little bit so that they don't stick. And that way they don't actually burn. Because the longer they sit in one spot, the more likely they are to burn. So just kind of move them around a little bit. Okay, now as you can see, they're really starting to get brown around the edges. Okay, that's good. You don't want them um, too dark, but once they start getting to that point where they're like a really golden brown and you can kind of move them without them bending too much, just go ahead and take them off one at a time as you need. Okay, and that should be it. Okay, now that we've let these cool for a few minutes and they're not gonna burn us, 
Let's take a look. Looks good. Nice golden brown on the bottom. Got our jalapenos on the top, nice and firm. Got a little bit of a snap to it. Let's give it a taste. You can hear the crunch. Good, got a little bit of spice and kick to it. This is really good. Now, you can add any kind of topping you want to it. You can dip it in whatever you want. You know, I got a little bit of sour cream here. See how it works out? That's yeah, really good. So, I mean, will you mistake it for an actual chip? No. But that doesn't matter. The thing is, you got your crisp, you know, crunchy mouthfeel. You know, lots of flavor. You got your unexpected camera malfunction. And that's fine. Everything works out in the end. So, yeah, I hope you make this. I uh, hope you enjoy it. There's no real macros to this or anything. It really depends on how much you want to make. Just follow your serving sizes. You know, it, um, there's no calories or carbs or anything listed for the jalapenos. So, don't you know, whatever you want on that. But any topping, just figure it out. So, but I hope you make these. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know down below um, if you haven't already subscribed and uh, join in for more like this. See you next time.